Das ist sehr zu mein. Lass die Waffe fallen. Ich schieße. Schäfer. Mich. Das ist sehr zu mein. Das ist komm, das ist nach hinten. Tisha! Mich! Gott! Tisha! Who's in this room? Port Noir. This little village on the south coast of France. It's a village without boutique, or club med, or t shirts. We've managed to avoid the 20th century and pretend to be dead before the 21st. It's quite a trick. Who are you? Who, me? I'm the dog, Jeffrey Washburn. The dog. And you? We need to notify the authorities. People might be looking for you. What's your name? Where do you live? I need to know where to send my outrageous bill. It's a miracle you're alive, old son. My head, I gotta sleep. Just your name. Huh? You do have a name. My name. My name is. Sometimes, with rest, everything comes back. And sometimes, nothing more than bits and pieces, ever. <laughs> Trouble is, you see, I, I'm not a brain surgeon, and I may have disconnected some wiring in there, fishing out bullets. Bullets? It won't help to concentrate. Relax. Let images float in, let the subconscious mind have a chance. This boat, what happened to it? Why was I on it? Somebody shot me. Why? I have to remember. It won't work that way. You said there was no report of a trawler lost or any boat lost. What else? Nightmares. As violent as anything I've ever seen. 
The kids from the village come up to watch. No commercials, you see. In these nightmares, you speak French, Spanish, German, and something Oriental. Can't remember those either. Also, you've undergone plastic surgery. Plastic surgery? Yes, your nose, chin, cheekbones have been worked on. What? As originally, you looked different. It must have been in an accident. Well, I don't think so. You see, the scars would have been different, more like the scars all over the rest of your body, most of them 12, 15 years old. Scars, I guess, from bullets, shrapnel, that sort of thing. A war? Well, maybe, but... Uh, See, the trouble is, you've been sewn up better than any army normally sews up its boys. It's all very peculiar. Jeff, I don't know what to do. Break it down. Fast. What? Break it down. How did I know how to do that? I don't know. Does the name Carlos mean anything to you? Nothing, should it? You sure? Vague feelings, anything. Carlos. I don't know, vague feelings. Yes. Feelings of... Uh... Danger. Something. I don't know, Jeff, who's Carlos? Just a name. Why here, Jeff, when you're as good as you are? No, they, uh, they said I was drunk. They said I, I killed two uh, patients on the operating table because I was drunk. Well, I could have got away with one, but not two. They said they saw a pattern emerging, so they, uh, they kicked me out. I'll never give a man like me a knife and cloak it in respectability. Billy, 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 He knows who I am. No, 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 you're not well enough. If anyone who wants you dead is going to be back, now they know that you're alive, you've got to get you out of this village. It's not safe for you here anymore. Uh, Jack will be coming for you. He owes me a favor. He'll get you to Marseille. Oh, and, uh, here. What's this? Well, it's what money I've got. It isn't much, but it's a start. Jeff, I can't take oh, it. Oh, rubbish. I don't need it. You do the passport as well. Get it altered. Pierre Jacques knows a man who'll do it for you. It wasn't enough to save my life. It's the most interesting work I've done in years. Anyway, I'm stuck with you now. I've got an investment in you. <laughs> I won't forget this. Oh, um, 
I have been keeping back a crucial piece of the uh, of the puzzle. I was waiting for you to get stronger, but now we're out of time. You better come and have a look at it. What am I looking for? Oh, uh, tell me what you see. Microfilm numbers. Yeah, and above the numbers, the Mineshaft Bank Zurich. I don't understand. Well, you see in Switzerland, numbers are the same as a, a signature in a bank account. Where did you get this? From your hip. It had been surgically implanted in your hip. And you didn't tell me before. Well, Do you know what this means? Well, I don't know. I presume it means... In this bank in Zurich with these numbers, that's where the answers will be. Well, I always thought answers are a bit overrated anyway. Oh, there he is now. You better hurry. Well... I'll be back. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, good luck. What are the good hotels in Zurich? Well, there's the Ritz, the Palace, the Carillon du Lac. Du Lac. Du Lac. The Carillon du Lac. It's your money. Oh, it's good to see you again, sir. It's been a while. Yes, I guess it has. Do me a favor, Herr Stossel. I sprained my hand last week. It's difficult to write. Would you fill in the registration for me? Oh, it's not a problem, sir. Hey, would you like me to call for the hotel doctor? Uh, not now. Perhaps later. Now, uh, I do need your signature, sir, uh, and your passport. Is something wrong, Mr. Bourne? My passport's at the bottom of my case. I'll bring it down later. Yes, sir. I'll get the key. I, um, I assume you require the usual conditions for your stay with us? Perhaps they've changed. How did you understand them? Whoever phones or comes for you is to be told you are out, and you are to be informed immediately. The one exception is your employer, Threadstone 71. Correct? 
I won't forget your efficiency, Herr Stossel. You will always be more than generous, Mr. Ball. Expelled three high-ranking Cuban diplomats in connection with the worldwide search of a man called Carlos, believed to be responsible for the assassination of United States Ambassador Howard Leland. Ambassador Leland was shot once through the throat by an unseen gunman using a high-powered rifle. If there's no listing Carlos under Treadstone 71, try it as Treadstone without the number. Murder and assassination, irrespective of political ideology. What? Carlos Did you try company or corp or inc? In connection with the murders of German intelligence officer Ernst What about Schreiber, two words separated? Tread Iranian Stone. Arms dealer, Brahim Hanif, and John Phillips, distinguished British member of parliament. What well, there must Last be a listing Carlos operator. Uh, how about the boroughs outside of Manhattan, Queens, uh, Brooklyn? Of Michel Villiers, no, I, I, I don't know what sort of business they're in. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Uh, investment banking, Today, securities. Delegates from the security and intelligence Look, branches of a dozen Could I persuade you to check the unlisted book? No, just tell me if the number is there, Miss. You don't have to tell me the actual. Well, don't tell me you don't have access. I know you do. And tell us what new evidence you have linking Carlos with the recent assassination yes, I understand. of Ambassador Leland in Marseille. Thank you very much for your trouble. I, I have no uh, new evidence concerning Wait. the uh, Leland case. I know you. We have increased uh, security measures at all of our foreign embassies, and of course we're cooperating with Interpol and the French authorities in a uh, worldwide search for the terrorist Carlos. You were responsible for Ambassador Leland's safety. How do you feel about his assassination? Who are you? Why do I know you? I feel a sense of outrage and uh, deep personal loss. He was a close friend. When we find Carlos, uh, and we will, I intend to uh, question him myself. And that's all I can say. Thank you. This is Nigel Coleman reporting from Nice. Carlos. May I help you, sir? Yes, I have an account here. If you will tell me the number of zeros in your account, sir, I'll be able to direct you to the correct office. Three zeros. Take the elevator, sir. Uh, fifth floor. My name is Fritz Koenig, sir. Three zero accounts rarely come in without an appointment, sir. Ah, I'm afraid you startled our man in the lobby. I can't help that. I'm in a hurry. Of course. Uh, if you'll sign in. Your signature. Would you wait in here, please? Where are you taking that? To signature verifications, of course. I'm in a great hurry, Herr Koenig. I'm following procedures you yourself requested, sir.
Malta Apfel at your service. Mr. Afro. I trust you are enjoying your stay in Zurich? Very much. My room overlooks the lake. It's beautiful. Oh. Shall I unlock this for you, or would you prefer to do it yourself? Be my guest, please. Open it. Oh, no, sir. I can unlock it for you, but the opening is your responsibility. If your identity is listed, it's not my position to... Of course. It's just that I'm in a hurry. I need to transfer funds out of the country, Mr. Apfel. Can you do that for me? For that, I do need to know your name. Fine. Open the box. Let's get to it. Jason Bourne. Jason. My privilege to know you. Your identity will remain confidential, of course. You have the word of an officer of the Gemeinschaft Bank. Thank you, Mr. Eiffel. I'd like funds transferred to the Bank of France in Port Noir under the name of Dr. Jeffrey Washburn. All right. What amount? A million dollars? Fine. Anything further, sir? Seven million dollars transferred to my account. Where, sir? Paris. Very good, sir. Which bank? I'm sure you have an affiliated bank in Paris. Uh, yes, of course. The Valois Bank of Paris. The Valois Bank, yes. And 300,000 francs in cash now. The balance to remain here. The paperwork won't take a minute, sir. I'll be back with your money. Money, sir. Thank you. Any time we can be of assistance, it would be our pleasure. Thank you. in the lobby. He's speaking kind of English. How many?
Yes, yeah, Stossel? This is Mr. Bourne in 402. I'd like uh, my bill prepared immediately in a taxi. I'm on my way down. Well, the taxi's waiting, sir. And your bill in francs and dollars, as usual. There may be messages from my company. Keep them till I send you a forwarding address. Oh, very good, sir. Could you send this for me, please? If there's a reply, I'll be at the Bertinelli lecture. Certainly, Doctor. Thank you. May I accompany you to Bertinelli's lecture, Doctor? You're into interest rates? Deeply. <laughs> well, I know you. Of course you do. I'm the one who applauded loudest for your paper. The and we have the next fly to beat. Oh, what point? Is there another way out of here? How should I know? Tighter monetary policies than Germany. Do as I say. The graph below shows the yield curve slopes and inflation rates for Germany and her principal economic partners, France, Italy, and the Netherlands. Since the inception of the EMS in 1979, there has been a marked convergence of inflation rates. As proxy by the yield curve slopes, this has been due to the gradual tightening of monetary policies with France, Italy, and the Netherlands tending to have tighter monetary policies than uh, Germany. This supports our view that a deflationary bias has been imposed on the rest of Europe by Germany via the EMS. Now move it. <laughs> What's at the restaurant? I don't I don't understand why we're going I to the restaurant. I don't know. Now God. turn around. <laughs> Walk 
walk into the restaurant with me. You said to drive you here. You said if I drove you here, you'd let me go. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah. No. I won't do it again. Yes, you will. No. There'll come a time when you think you can make it, and you'll try. Believe me when I tell you, you won't make it. I won't. I won't do it. If I know you'll let me go. I will. When? When it no longer matters what you say or do. Uh, 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 I don't want to hurt you. Don't make me. Uh, Comb your hair. You look a mess. If you make any trouble inside, somebody's bound to get hurt. It'll be your responsibility. told. No more, no less, as you yourself instructed. You were paid? I told them nothing. Then what are you afraid of? I'm simply a tourist having dinner. You cannot, please. You must leave. Tell me what you know, quickly. Others may have talked. The police... The police have been here, Interpol, looking for you, Miner. And others who would stop at nothing, they know this place. Please, I've told them I haven't seen you. They'd kill me. You're exaggerating. Don't do this to me. Why are you so afraid? Word went out a month ago that you were not dead. Anyone with any information should call a number set up by Interpol. Sizable rewards offered by several countries. Information to be held in strictest confidence. And you needed the money. <laughs> no, no, God. You've got to believe me. On my life, I swear I didn't. Who did? Sherlock, maybe. Sherlock. The envelope came from him to me to you. You know him. He'd never say anything. Where is he? Where he always is. Don't play games with me. Löwenstrasse, of course. What number? It hasn't changed. Answer the question. 37. What was in the envelope? I didn't look. I don't know. I will shoot you if you lie again. Money? I suppose, yes. I didn't take any. If there was some discrepancy... What was the money for? What was it for? Why are you doing this to me? I read the papers. Watch the news on TV. It was front page in three languages. The assassination of Ambassador Leland. Come on. 
I don't want to go in there. You're coming in. No, I don't want to hear anymore. Come on. I don't want to be a witness. Please, don't make me go. I won't go to the police. from inside, tell him you've got a message from the dry Ovenazer. Yeah? I don't speak German, Mr. Chernick, but I have a message for you. Who are you? What is it? It's from a friend at Dry Oppenhauser. I don't know anybody there. Is there another Chernick in the building? He said 37 Lohenstrasse. Put it under the door. I can. It isn't written down. I, I need to make a visual identification. <laughs> you. What do you want from me? Stay in here. Keep quiet. You swore the last one would be the end of it. I can't risk it anymore. The envelope you gave our friend at the Alpenhauser. Who gave it to you? Some messenger. Who else? Where did it come from? How should I know? It arrived in the boxes. Usually, I unpacked it, sent it on. You were the one who set up the system. Why are you asking me these things? You were the one who said it was too dangerous to come here anymore. There was money missing. Then it wasn't paid. I never opened the envelopes, you know that. Listen. I don't believe you. Anything missing, you wouldn't have taken the assignment. And you took the assignment. What assignment? Why are you really here? Who is the girl? Kill me! Get in! Get in! You killed that poor helpless man. Drive! Where? You haven't said where. Uh, safe place. Hiding place. Oh. Red door. Boarding house. Uh, step deck, Strauss. Strauss.
been shot. It's all right. No. We're the police. Please. Vielen Dank, Monsieur. All right. That's okay. Doctor. And instructions. He was trying to kill me! Does the name Carlos mean anything to you? Compliments. These are the police. Better and better. The conditions were right. God, take me back to the hotel. Take her to the river, kill her. Wait. Yell your head off, scream loud. Ah. 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 Stupid. Ah. Ah. Whatever you're getting paid for this. I'll double it. We're at the bank, you know I can do it. I wouldn't touch your money. Money's money, why not? Are you serious? Wealth is relative to the time you have to enjoy it. I wouldn't last five minutes. Put him in the car. Break his fingers. No! Oh! Oh! Stop it! 
Who is it? The beneath madam. Regensburg, 30 miles west of Zurich. How did we get here? I made a decision. But only for a while, for a few hours, to help you get away. Knowing what I am. I don't know what you are. All I know is that you came back and saved my life. You're not afraid of me anymore. Of course I am. I saw you kill. You're good at it. It was horrible. But you saved my life. Are you that naive? Not really. I have your gun. The man at the hotel called you doctor. What sort of doctor? Of economics, not medicine. I work for the Canadian Treasury Board. Why was there no stink in the paper about the abduction of the beautiful economist from Canada? How did you manage that? I called a friend, one that wasn't at the Bertinelli lecture. I told her I was okay to field whatever questions came up, that I was having an affair, that I'd be back in a couple of days. <laughs> That's all I get, you shake your head? I saved your life. What do you want, a medal? The truth. I don't know the truth. You can do better than that. Not much. They say my name is Bourne, Jason Bourne. They? What are you talking about? My life began a month ago, when I was washed up on the beach in the French fishing village of Port Noir. I have no past, Doctor, no memory of a past. I have no idea who I am, what I am, why I'm so good at killing who those people are who are trying to kill me. Do you really expect me to believe that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I can't believe it myself. How could I expect you to? The insanity is, it's the truth. When the fat man at Dry Offenhauser came over, you told me to turn to the wall, that there was no point in being identified. There wasn't. Well, that's not the reasoning of... An assassin? I appreciate what you're trying to do, but use your brain, doctor. Envelopes full of money were delivered to me for assignments taken. I've got a numbered account with, with $15 million in it. Now, where'd that money come from? Hmm? From Treadstone 71? Well, who are they? Why can't I find them? What does a man like me, with the skills I obviously have, do to get that kind of money? What occurs to you? That everything's in one hell of a mess. Be serious. Is there anything familiar, Jason? Mediterranean power struggles, Mideast problems, arms deals. I know what they're talking about, Marie. In fact, I know a lot more than what's in these papers. Maybe you're with the Foreign Service. With expertise in small arms and martial arts, a numbered bank account. Think about traveling. What do you see? Trains, cars, planes? All of them. And who meets you? Are there faces, people? Streets. Streets? Why streets? I don't know. Faces and shadows, faces without features, meet me in streets. No offices? Business offices? Sometimes, not usually. All right. These faces, are they men or women? Men, mostly. What do you talk about? I don't know. There aren't any voices. There aren't any words. But you had appointments. Who made the appointments? How did you know where to go? Who to see? Cables. Telephone calls. From? I don't know. 
Jason, you had to call them back. Was it Treadstone? Think. I can't. No, they reached me. I never called them. Jason, what comes to mind when you think of money? The first thing, the first impression. Jason? Death. yourself a ticket back to Canada. Back to Peter. Oh, Peter. I'd forgotten it was you behind us in the hotel lobby. You misunderstood, Jason. You're going home tomorrow. You're gonna learn to play the saxophone, marry Peter, and forget all this. Peter is nothing more than my boss and an old friend from school. At one point in the beginning, I thought, well, maybe. But he turned out to be deeply committed to helpless women. So am I. I'm coming to Paris with you. Yeah. You're not. The last time I went near that bank account, half of Zurich tried to kill me. That's exactly why you need me. I know banks. I know the right questions to ask, how to interpret the answers. Marie, I'm not going to drag you into this any further. I don't want you hurt. Jason, I have rank in the Treasury Department of the Canadian government. Clearance access, embassy protection, all of that can be quite helpful. I've already called Peter in Ottawa and asked him to find out about your mysterious treadstone. You shouldn't have done that. I want to help you, Jason. At first, it was because you saved me from being raped. Saved my life, I owed you. But then... You're not a killer. You can kill, but you're not a killer. That's a distinction I happen to believe in more than you do. Please let me help you. was very dangerous. It's a super secret top echelon group in the CIA. The CIA? Is he sure his information's accurate? He called a friend in Washington. He's with the NSC. My God. He was furious that Peter even knew about the existence of a group called Treadstone. He's flying up to Canada to debrief him. Now do you want to go back? Ask me after the bank. It won't be open for another hour. Let's go to the Sorbonne and see if the reports on Ambassador Leland's assassination jog my memory. Let's get a cab. Look. My God, that's you. I was there. I know these people. Ambassador Leland, U.S. Naval Intelligence at House in McLean, Virginia. 
And this man, I saw him on television in Zurich. I know him, but I can't remember his name. He's important, Marie. He... Somehow... close to me. What's his name? He's not identified, Jason. You're not identified. It's the funeral for the son of General Villiers. again. Leland was shot in the throat. Carlos's signature, it says, is to shoot his victims in the throat. Ash. I shot Chernak in the throat. He comes with him to me. Are your days comfortable? The days they draw to an end, but they are made comfortable. Good. What is the report from Zurich? Born has disappeared. They think the woman is with him. Disappeared? Where was Connie? He has a dozen men. Four of our men were killed. Koenig says Bourne has sent the money to Paris. She comes to me. Have someone at the bank who can recognize him. And if possible, take the woman first and bring her to me. Yes, Carlos. Numbers four six seven eight two two five five. Got it. Here we go. Yes, uh, hello. I transferred a sizable amount of money from Switzerland, and I'd like to check on whether it's there. That would be in our foreign department, sir. I will connect you. Look. I transferred upwards of seven million American dollars to your bank. I've been trying to check on whether it's there or not. Now, are you going to help me or are you going to transfer me to some other department? Who am I talking to? I can't 
Colonel of course help you, monsieur. I am Pierre Dalmacour, an officer of the bank. If you will give me your name. Born, B-O-U-R-N-E, Jason Born. The money came from the Gemeinschaft Bank in Zurich. Now, did it get to you? All transactions are confidential, Monsieur Bourne. We couldn't give you that information over the phone. Look, I'm in a hurry. I'm leaving Paris you and I... by the bank? Yes, yes, I guess I'll have to. Um, where's your office? I'll need to see all the papers and the confirmation. Of course. My office is at the rear, first floor on the right. Hello? Hello? Damn phones. I am here, Monsieur Bourne. Hello? I can't hear anything. His name is Dovercourt. His office is main floor rear, through on the right. Jason, the man who tried to kill me, he's here. Can he see you where you are? No, I don't think so. Look, face the wall, and don't move. Now hang up the phone. I'll get rid of him, and I'll call you right back. Banque Valois, bonjour. Pierre Domacourt's office, please. Grand étranger, bonjour. Mr. Domacourt, please. Jason Bourne calling. One moment, please. I'm afraid there's been a hitch in my plans, Summercourt. I've got to fly to London right away. I'm off to the airport right now. Um, hang on to those papers for me. I'll take care of it as soon as I get back from London. Oh, there's a cab. Got to run. Thanks. Jason. Marie, don't move. If I'm right, that animal will be passing you to run any second. Maybe I should try to get out now. No, not yet. Don't move. At the airport, I promise you. Do you suppose Domacourt could have gone out a back way? There he is. You're gonna be all right. Go back to Monsieur. Wait. Mr. Damacourt, I'm Jason Bourne. Your friends must be running all over the airport by now, wondering why you gave them bum information. I did as I was told. I followed the instructions in the account. Nothing more, I swear. That's all I want to ask you about, the instructions on the account. What they were, who they came from, nothing to be alarmed about. I could lose my position, monsieur. You could lose your life. I am not the man you want to talk to. Who is? We all know the Valois bankers. It was used the one who made the arrangements with the Gemeinschaft's bank in Zurich. The instructions came from Zurich? Yes. From that man in the bank, Koenig? Perhaps. What was the arrangement? I'm not as privileged as you think, monsieur. No one is ignorant. Don't play with me, Mr. Demacourt. You don't have to threaten me, monsieur. You are a very rich man. Why not pay me? All right, let's see what it's worth. Your account has a fiche compensielle. What's that? 
It means there are separate sealed instructions to be followed when funds are deposited or withdrawn. And the instructions? The telephone number to be called. And the number? Oh, I don't remember, monsieur. I only looked at it once. You remember. A number in New York? No, mademoiselle. A number here in Paris. The card was altered. The number in New York was deleted, the one in Paris inserted and initialed. When you called the Paris number, who did you talk to? With the fish, you don't ask. That's true. A woman answered. She said you should be considered a dangerous man. I asked if I should inform Surtur or Interpol. I was told you were beyond the police or Interpol. That you should be detained in my office, that there would be persons there within minutes who could identify you. This is very valuable, Monsieur Bourne. A phone number might be. I want 50,000. It's outrageous. So is the assassination of Ambassador Lilland. You know who I am. A dangerous man, Monsieur. Nothing more. You know a lot more than that. Tell me or I'll kill you right now. Jason. Only one other thing I know, Monsieur. Say it. 50,000. I'll pay you with your life. Say it. A telephone number. It's a dress shop in Saint Honoré. A dress shop? It's called Bergeron. Jason, come on. Come on. Call Peter, see what he's found out while I change. Lisa, it's Marie Saint-Jacques. May I speak to Peter? What? When? I just talked to him earlier today. Oh, my God. What? What's happened? the airport to meet the man from Washington. When he didn't come back to the office, Lisa called the airport. They found his body in one of the tunnels to the parking lot. Oh, Marie. Your precious threats. Hey. Me. They're murderers. He asked about them to help hey, me. Come on. To help us. Stop it. Your people, Jason. I'm sorry, Your but... people are murderers. All of you are murderers. Calm down. Let Marie. me go. Let now me stop go. It, Marie. No, I can't be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of it. Marie. Marie. to know what's going on. Peter White, a man at the Canadian Treasury Department, calls the NSC asking about this organization, Treadstone, and is shot. Did you people kill him because he blew your cover? Senator. Or was it Carlos again? I think it was Bourne. Bourne. You're convinced, General Compton, that Bourne was also responsible for the assassination of Ambassador Leland. I am. Either by himself or working for Carlos. Poppycock. Mr. Abbott. Well, apparently, Senator, we don't have a consensus yet. 
You're not convinced. I'm not convinced, for one. The facts are as follows. Bourne was in Marseille shortly before the assassination. That doesn't mean that he did it. He might have gotten wind there's to be an attempt on the ambassador's life. He might have been trying to prevent it. And after Marseille, he vanished and reappeared again in Zurich, where he withdrew several million from the Treadstone account. Then he murdered Chernak, who's worked for us forever, kidnapped the Canadian woman, and disappeared again. And those are also the facts, Senator. Ambassador Leland and Chernak were both shot in the throat. Is there any significance in that? It's Carlos's signature. Jason Bourne was trying to think, to act, and to kill like Carlos. He did not kill Alex. He saved lives while he was undercover. That's true. Taking credit for kills, not killing. Or so he would have us believe. Bourne's mission, Senator, was to get Carlos. Interpol had tried and failed for 20 years. The Israelis tried. Carlos controls an elaborate network of terrorists from who knows from where. We decided we were going to challenge him at his own game. To field our own assassin. Are you serious? The theory was that our man would take credit for kills that were in fact Carlos's kills and, and invent others. This would enrage Carlos. He'd, he'd make a mistake. He'd, he'd reveal himself. He's a man of enormous ego. That was the theory. In practice, what happened, in my opinion, is that Jason Bourne turned into exactly what we trained him to be, a master assassin. Is that possible in your opinion, David? The evidence against Bourne, it, it, it's circumstantial at best. I think he should be eliminated. Alex, please. Well, what we have here is you, David, and Elliot believing in this man's innocence, General Conklin, and Mr. Gillette believing in his guilt. How do we resolve that? What I suggest is that we send him a signal to come in. Now, we'll plant a story about the Canadian woman in the papers. If he does come in, we'll question him. If he doesn't, then we'll know he's turned. Gentlemen. Meg. Where do you go now? That place Domico told us about at the bank, Bergeron's dress shop. Jason, they'll kill you if you go there. Marie? You'll be late for your flight home. I am sorry about Peter. Monsieur Bergeron, monsieur. 
Que peut-on faire pour vous être agréable? Could you translate that for me, please? <laughs> Excuse me. Do you want to see something? Yes, I'm looking for some gifts for a friend. Oh, the launch for viewing and selecting is one flight up, sir. Let me show you the way. If we can be of any assistance, <laughs> please call, sir. Thank you. I am Jacqueline Lavier, the directrice. If I can be of any assistance. Oh, thank you. May I hang those for you? Oh, sure, thanks. You have an eye for our better dresses. I have a young lady with an eye for your better dresses. Ah, may I pick some ball gowns, perhaps, as well? If you've got a place where I can sit down and have a drink, you can pick me a whole closet full, Madam Jackie. The trip from the Bahamas was a killer. My office? It's not the jaw sank, but the sofa is soft. And there's plenty of whiskey. Where have you been all my life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would the young lady be available for fittings? She's already on the Riviera. Cap for off. But a size six fits her well enough. A size six fits her well enough? For shame, monsieur. Uh, this is what I like about shopping in Paris. My pleasure. Monsieur... Briggs. Charlie Briggs. And how much of your money would you like to part with, Monsieur Briggs? Oh, not more than ten or twelve thousand, Madame Jackie. A bientôt, Monsieur. And make yourself at home. Come in. Marie! Incredible. Thank God you got away. You all right? Yeah. Did you hear about Peter? What happened? Do you have any idea? Yeah, we heard this morning. Terrible tragedy, but... But you're safe. Thank God for that. We've all been so worried. Alice? Oui? Tell the ambassador that Marie St. Doc is in my office. We've got him. What do you mean, we've got him? You've got who? Born, of course. You are going to cooperate, aren't you? Cooperate? What do you mean? Help us find him. Marie, the police all over Europe have been looking for Jason Bourne since he took you hostage in Zurich. He's an international assassin, one of the most dangerous men alive. You know where he was last, where he's planning to go. Mr. McLean, the ambassador would like to see you in his office. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'll be right back. Carl, what happens when you find him, Carl? Marie, he's a killer. Sooner or later, we're gonna catch him. Or kill him. Wait here. Yes, I am sure. 
thought he was dead. I served with the bastard in Laos in the med user operation. It was the coldest man I ever saw. It's the most dangerous. It's the most unpredictable. Mademoiselle Angelique, it is born, I guarantee it. You cannot make a mistake with a man like that. We were all trained to kill, but he was the best. He killed because he enjoyed it. That was a lovely meal, Monsieur Briggs. Merci. Call me Charlie. Charlie. Now, I understand through my associates that you know the work of a man I might want to employ. Jason Bourne. Madam Jackie, there's nothing to be alarmed about. All I want is information. I have no information. I don't know who you are talking about. Don't you? Then why is your phone number on the fiche confidentielle of his bank account? That's a lie. You know nothing. I know enough to expose Koning in Zurich, Damercourt at the Valois Bank, and you, of course. If I did expose you, do you know how quickly you'd be eliminated? You are insane. You expose any of us anywhere, and you won't last the day. He has men everywhere. They will cut you down in the street. Tell me about Bourne. You heard that he was the equal of Carlos, am I right? His equal? I heard they were the same man. So now Bourne is claiming even to be Carlos? Monsieur. So Bourne isn't Carlos? Bourne is a poseur. He works alone. Carlos' strength lies in his far-reaching sources of information. Sounds like too many people to me. All blind, monsieur. Blind? To put it plainly, I have been part of this operation for over 15 years. I have yet to meet a single person who has even spoken to Carlos, or a single person who knows where he is. And Bourne? What do you know about Bourne? An American. When did he come to Europe, to Carlos's attention? Three years ago. First, a lot of activity in Asia. An ambassador was assassinated in Mulman. Two days later, a Japanese politician was killed in Tokyo. A week after that, a newspaper editor was blown out of his car in Hong Kong. Behind each of these, born. But Carlos realized what none of us understood. That born was moving to Europe, to Paris, in fact. That he was out to destroy Carlos. Calcutta, Oman, Sheikh Mustafa Khalid. A lie. A deliberate lie. Bourne failed more than once. He accepted too many contracts in too short a time. Yet, whenever he did, he would follow an aborted kill with a spectacular, unsolicited one. <laughs> he would select a prominent figure and... And Bourne. Why does Bourne want to destroy Carlos? Because he intends to become Carlos. I thought you'd be in Canada by now. What happened? They're after you, too. The Canadians? Everybody. And their instructions are if they can't catch you, to kill you. Carlos has engineered this somehow. They're convinced you're an assassin, Jason. They wanted to know where I saw you last, what your plans were. What did you tell them? Nothing. Nothing. I ran away.
monsieur. Jason, can we slow down? Where are we going? I don't know. Sure as hell can't stay here. Jason. Here, sir. I'm too old for this. Me too. <laughs> Wait behind the building, Kenny. I won't be long. I'll fill it with gas. David Abbott, I presume. Mm hmm. Legend of the OSS days. Creator of Treadstone 71. Who's the woman? Meg. Yes, Meg owns the house. She and her husband with the OSS in Yugoslavia. He, he sails. Oh, the yachtsman, of course. So, how do we get in? <laughs> uh, Herr Koenig, I wonder if we could discuss business for a moment. 500,000 doesn't really seem adequate. After all, Carlos can sell those files alone for several millions. We don't renegotiate, Mr. Gillette. If you're going to fit in, I wouldn't try. Newspaper article was a clear signal to come in, and he hasn't. Got to eliminate him, David, quickly as possible. It's only been 24 hours. Can't we give him another day? Every day puts the rest of the intelligence community in jeopardy. We have no choice, David. We have to get rid of him. I have to go. Just give me another 24 hours. <laughs> All right. All right. Anybody want to ride to the airport? I'll see you out. No, don't bother. I'll go out the back. The car's waiting in the alley. Look, I'll take that ride. Well, let's go. The car's out the back. David Abbott. He wasn't here. There's a door to the alley. Idiot. Where are the files? That's the file I'm born. His fingerprints. I know what to do.
I called a bureau print team we've used before and can trust they didn't tell them what we're looking for, just to sweep Treadstone and give me whatever they got. I gave them the names of 37 men whose prints are on file with the FBI. The place had been wiped clean, apart from a broken glass on which we found prints. Well, don't play with me, Mr. Gillette. Whose prints were they? They were Bourne's. No, we can't be absolutely certain. We gave him the signal to come in, David. His response was to wipe out Treadstone. Now, what more do you want? So, do we eliminate him? make any sense at all. I called the number I found at Bergeron's. It's the home of one of the most powerful, respected men in France. Who? General Francois Villiers. Oh my God, it can't be. That picture in the Sorbonne, you were at his son's funeral. Jason, he was a hero in World War II, a legend in the Resistance. Now he's a ranking member of the government. Well, how can you connect such a man with Carlos? Villiers broke with de Gaulle, didn't he? Why? Over military cutbacks. He's an entrenched militarist. That's it. There's the connection. Carlos eliminated Leland because Leland was working for a nuclear-free Mediterranean. That's all we need. It seems incredible, a man like that. I've got the address. Let's go. He was a customer, Angelique. Nothing but a customer, I'm sure of it. Close for his girlfriend on the Riviera. Information on Bourne, who he was told could get rid of a competitor, nothing else. It was Bourne himself. Bourne asking about his own kills, his own reputation. His own relationship with Carlos, it makes no sense. What did you tell him? Nothing. I told him nothing. How long was he alone in your office? He wasn't. He was not. I swear it. Anjou says He's it lying. Him. Is my phone number in your office? No, no. My God, am I stupid? We're late. We have an appointment. Where are we going? It's time you met Carlos. That's Madame Jackie, the woman from Bergeron's. One in red was at General Villiers' son's funeral. In the photo in the Sorbonne. <sighs> well, that proves it. Didier is involved. Exactly as I tell you. Slide over in the driver's seat and start the car. Now drive ahead. Jason! Once I'm inside, drive off.
Father, do you speak English? A little. A few moments ago, two women came in. The young one in a red dress, the older one with a, a very short dark hair. Did you see them? Oh, yes. The younger woman brought the other to confession. Did you hear the confession? No, no. One of the visiting fathers from oh, Spain. I must find her. There has been an emergency. Uh, she was in the second confessional. I don't know whether she's still there. I think I saw Father Emmanuel leave. Hello. We have to talk, General. Get in the car. Quick, what is this? What case? What we have this? to talk. General. General, wait. We followed Carlos from Zurich. From a bank in Zurich to a bank in Paris, which had on a secret account Bergeron's number. At Bergeron's, I found your number, carefully hidden but available. No, no, there, there must be some explanation. There is no other explanation. General, at your home, who normally answers the phone? You yourself? Yes. Uh, the housekeeper, she's been with me since the war. Or my wife, or my aide. Your aide? How long has he been with you? Since before you were born. He is completely loyal. Caesar said the same of Brutus. There is no one in my immediate household. No one, believe me. I'm afraid you're wrong. Don't pull in. What? Stop what here. The man coming out of your house, do you know who he is? Yes, I've met him with my wife. His name is Donjou. He's connected to Carlos. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I saw him in the dress shop Carlos uses for a front here in Paris. That woman he's talking to is one of Carlos's people. Is she part of your household, General? Yes. She's my wife. <laughs> man finds a stunning young woman who is anxious to share his life with him. Ah, there are some things which are understood. She gets money, security, a position in society, and he, uh, he gets her youth, her beauty, and I suppose a, a chance to display his virility. General, don't Straight do this. All the time there are questions. Does she long for a younger man? 
And if she takes a lover, oh, damn it, if she, when she takes a lover, will she be discreet? That one question never, never occurred to me until now. Has she, from the very beginning, from the start, has she been part of a design? Has she been part of my son's death? Do you think she has? I have access to certain classified uh, material. You understand? Uh, military, nuclear, the security of France. Only five of the men are on the list. Five, no more. But all the time, there is a leak. I don't know, somewhere, somehow. Uh, Moscow learns one thing, Washington another, Damascus something else. You discuss these things with your wife? No, of course I do not. But I bring the papers home with me and I put them in a safe in my office. And only one other person has got the key of the safe. For her jewels. <laughs> she went in the morning for my son's death. Black, very smart, very chic. But if what you say is right, then she was part of my son's murder. She's a traitor to France. I know what I must do. No, General. No, listen to me. Think of your son, not your pride. Go after the real killer, not the accomplice. In the end, you'll get both of them, but don't confront her now. Use her to get Carlos. Use her to draw him out. We need a way to make him show himself. Nobody's ever been this close before. Who are you? Have you heard of a group in the CIA called Treadstone? I can tell you nothing about Treadstone. Nothing about Emma. All we're looking for is someone in Treadstone we can trust. Someone beyond suspicion. Just a name, General. One name. Abbott. David Abbott. He is a man you can trust. Bonjour. This is Jason Bourne. Jackie's dead. You're next. Do me no favors, Bourne. Call the Church of the Blessed Sacrament for verification. Then meet me at... And get a wire around my neck. I'll pay you enough so you can leave the country and live a long, safe life. The Trocadero, at noon, at the taxi stand. If you want to live, be there. Come on! Je ne pas, je vous ai rien fait! Je n'ai rien à 
fouille de vos histoires Je le dirai à ma mère Quoi dire You saved my life. Why? Because I might kill you myself. What do you want? How does Villiers' wife fit into the organization? Don't you? She's Carlos' lover since she was 13. Villiers' wife? Gives Carlos access not only to virtually all government secrets, but also to all the file on himself. Is Villiers involved? What does Carlos know about me? I'm not in the first circle. What have you heard? Only what everyone else has heard. Rumors out of Saigon were that the man known as Jason Bourne, the most lethal man in Southeast Asia, had signed on with the CIA for the highest price ever paid an offer to For what purpose? What does Carlos think I'm doing? Driving him crazy, claiming his kills for yours, challenging him at every turn. And you? What are you thinking? What does it matter? You recognize me. You know me. You are not the Jason Bourne, I knew. And who am I? I have no idea. Your face has been altered to look like Bourne, but you are not him. You are not a cold-blooded killer. Beyond that, I have no idea. If I run, will you shoot me? No, I won't. you say? Was I right? You were right. Oh. Oh. There's still a lot I don't know. Things I may never know. But I'm not born. I'm not an assassin. Oh. oh, Jason. Now we can contact the embassy. They'll help us. Yeah. But what do I say? Hi there. I'm Jason Bourne. I know that's not my real name, but I don't happen to recall what my real name is. You see, I lost my memory somewhere outside of Marseille. What do I tell them? Tell them the truth. What truth? Tell them to contact the doctor who fished you out of the sea. What? He must have records. He doesn't keep records. He's an alcoholic. Nobody will believe him. Jason, why are you fighting this? It's what you've been looking for since you woke up that morning on the beach. Marie, how do I know the Americans aren't trying to kill me, too? I have to be careful, that's all. VA said you could trust Abbott. David Abbott and Treadstone. It's Bourne. What? Just phoned the Paris Embassy. He wants to come in. Thank God. Are we sure it's him? Well, he's not using the right words. But the agency still thinks it's for real. Can we make the concord? The car's downstairs. We stalled him, right? Told him not to come in until we get there. He's going to phone on the hour at different locations. Are they logged? No, no. Look, there are half a dozen double agents in Paris with trip telephones. If he's gone over to the other side, the chances are he'll use one of those phones before we get there. And we'll know he's lying. Now, let's get one thing clear. I want his story before we do anything. God, he's just destroyed Treadstone, David. Now, how can I want this destroy... completely private. I want no possibility of ambush. Look, the man is dangerous, and I'm obligated to protect you. You know this man, Alex. There's no threat, not to me. I guarantee it. Well, I am not convinced. Now, we are going to do this my way. Well, here we go. Abbott's arrived? I'm meeting him at a cemetery outside of Paris. Oh, no. It's supposed to reassure me, I think. I've been there before. General Villiers' son's funeral was there. Oh, the one in the newspaper. Yeah, picture. by naming it the rendezvous, Abbott's telling me he's genuine.
Who are you? Who am I? You know who I am. Down, I said, who are you? Brigadier General Alex Conklin. I said I'd see Abbott. Nobody but Abbott. Where's David Abbott? What do you want to do? Kill him? The way you killed everybody else at Treadstone? What are you talking about? Your fingerprints were found. You killed all of them. Mag the Yachtsman, Elliot Stevens. They were good people. People who die rather than turn, rather than sell out the way you did to Carlos. Damn it, I haven't turned. Carlos is trying to kill me. You bastard. Kill it! Kill him! <laughs> David! 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 No! <laughs> You have it. You don't know me? No, I don't know you. Carlos tried to have me killed in Marseille. The bullet blew out my memory. Oh. oh, my God. You remember nothing? Almost nothing. Bits and pieces. That explains everything. You believe me? Yes, yes. I killed a man and shot. That was Gillette. He was the traitor. The same man tried to shoot me at the Crocodero. He convinced General Conklin that you turned, and he almost convinced me. Can you tell me who I am? You're David Webb. Your name for me, I'm David Abbott. Your father and I, we grew up together. Went to Yale, the OSS, the Foreign Service. He died when you were seven. I had no children, and so... We did everything together when you were growing up. I, I took you skiing. We played tennis. We talked history. We fished. Above all, we fished. What about the CIA? Treadstone? Oh, David. You followed me into this lousy business. And when no one could touch Carlos, when his people had killed half a dozen of the most prominent Western leaders, and he himself, he'd... he'd apparently disappeared off the face of the earth. Then you and I, we devised a deep cover trap for him, designed to flush him out, the born identity. <coughs> See if you can walk a little farther. What a real Jason Bourne, who was he? Oh, a terrible man. Killed for the sport of it. Didn't matter if it was a rat or a man, he just loved to watch things die. What happened to him? We couldn't control him. So once the plastic surgery on you was complete, and you'd been trained, we eliminated him. You killed your own man? To get Carlos, we needed someone with Bourne's reputation, but someone we could trust, someone decent. Decent? The object was to kill Carlos, Davy, not to win a ticket to heaven. Or set me down, Davy. I'm not gonna let you die. No, it is too late. It's not too late. You're going to be all right. No, please. No, just here. Catch the train. Oh. You could cast a line into a pool of water under the trees. Sidearm. Maybe just, just a foot of clearance between the branches and the water. 11 years old, newspaper people came out to take your picture. They couldn't believe it either. <laughs> you had a dog, a black lab named Elvis. It's true, I'd forgotten that. <laughs> Everything your childhood is in the house on 71st Street. Treadstone, third floor, your room. All the answers are there, everything. The hospital, you've got to make it. No, no, please. I want to die holding on to the grass.
get Carlos. I will. I will. Forgive me. David Webb. <laughs> it was a trap. They were convinced that I'd sold out to Carlos. Why would Treadstone try to kill you? They think I flew into New York last week, last Friday, and killed everybody at their headquarters. But you can prove you were here. They won't listen. Even David Abbott, wasn't he there? They killed him. Oh, God. Only Carlos could have engineered this. He's got us completely isolated. Nobody will believe us. Nobody. Our only chance is to get Carlos and bring him in. How? I've got to get to General Villiers. His wife is our last chance, our last connection to Carlos. done she admitted it my wife what you suggested she was his whore I had no choice she destroyed my son my name my honor my life has been service to France she made of it a mockery and now you're gonna kill yourself when I am dead there will be no one to question no proof only the whisper of killers and thieves. So in the end, Carlos kills you too. Without so much as wasting a round of ammunition. Beautiful. Whatever it is you want me to do, the answer is no. I cannot do it. So Carlos wins. Angelique wins. You lose. Your name, your reputation, your life, your son, everything. It's easier to put a damn gun in your mouth and blow the top of your head off. Yes, yes, it is. Oh. I won't ask you to fight. Not fight. The odds being what they are. Just the two of us against everybody. No, I can't. I know. I know. So lie down on the bed next to your whore, General, and die. You're no match for Carlos, you self-pitying old man. Oh. I've killed many men in my life. Many men. Good idea. Kill me, too, then Carlos sweeps the board. Go on fire. Kill me. Take your orders from Carlos, soldier. Kill me, soldier! What do you want me to do? Get diplomatic clearance for Marie and me this morning to New York. Hmm? We'll force Carlos to come after me. It's the only way any of us are going to survive. Carlos himself? How? Oh. Put her in a car and wait. They'll find her. And when they do, they'll take her to Carlos. And Carlos will come to Treadstone to kill you.
All right, I'm Santa Crawford. And comes our necessary. What number? Keep going to the corner. More than in store, it's Schumach speaking. Mr. Schumach, my name's Johnson. I have a little problem. Perhaps you can help me solve it. Yeah, I'll try. What is it? I was on my way to a friend's house on 71st Street. Uh, a friend who passed away recently, I'm sorry to say, to pick up something I'd lent him. When I got there, one of your vans was parked in front of the house. Now, I could easily get a letter from my attorney, but it was an item of little or no value. What is it? A fishing rod. Not an expensive one, but with an old, old-fashioned casting reel that doesn't get tangled up every five minutes, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I fish out of sheep's head. They don't make those reels like they used to. I know exactly in which closet he kept it. Yeah, what the hell, a fishing rod? Huh? Go up and see a guy named Dugan. Tell him I said you can have it, but you'll have to sign for it. Mr. Dugan. Thank you, Mr. Schumach. Hey, if he gives you any static, tell him to call me. Good fishing. Yes, indeed. Why not let Bourne come to me? Why not let me stand on the corner reading the Wall Street Journal or something? No, oh, no, if you're outside and Bourne is outside, it gives Carlos two targets. I can't permit it. Hey, where's Dugan at? What do you think? Upstairs sitting in his chair. He don't lift nothing heavier than his clipboard, man. <laughs> He's an executive. Schumach sent me, said you needed another man. Second floor, you from shape up? Yeah. I see parts of him in everybody. <sighs> what do you see? I don't know. I can't be sure. Read, Davy, read. Everything you can get your hands on, but especially history. Oh, Davy, what a lovely present. Let's put it on the mantle where we'll always see it.
over. We're not the enemy. You are the enemy. I'll take you all. It doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. They're dead. They're all dead. Jason! Get away! They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> David Abbott gave his life for his country, for freedom, for democracy. A sacrifice unfashionable with this generation that believes only in profit. But fitting I think, with David Abbott, who believed in courage and freedom of ideas, in human dignity, in fighting for what is true and good and right and just. It is not fitting. We killed too many people, David. You taught me to be a monster, to catch a monster. Along the way, part of me became the monster. You taught me to kill like you taught me to play tennis, with skill and attachment, without mercy, without thought. Tonight, we fly back to Vermont. They say I was a teacher. Maybe I'll teach again and fish. Maybe I can put the pieces back together. Some of them, at least. I can think about how I became what I became, and how to forgive you, and how to forgive myself. <laughs> <laughs>